Good morning. I thought, why not? Oh, look at that. Everything starts going off. Yeah, I'm taking off my slippers. And you're going to hear puppies. For those, when you start hopping on here, you will hear puppies because my puppies are here. I, had, I don't know. They've been stage fright. I've got my water. I still can't put my phone on silent. Oh, goodness, goodness. Okay, so I, before nobody's jumping on yet. I Hopefully I made this public and not unlisted like last time I tried to go live because, girl, use a mess. Mm. I just burnt my tongue. Go me. Okay, so as far as primer goes, I have sprayed this and I put on some of this. This is like ridiculously hard to find. So, yeah, I probably, I, let me see. I wonder if there's a way. Oh, yeah, it just showed. I did it right, guys. It's so funny because, like, if I don't have Haley here to show me how things work, well, heck, last time she was here and I, well, I tried doing it myself and I messed it up, so. I literally just burnt my tongue. That hurt like something else. Go me. Okay, I need to get into this because I got to work today. So, but I, oh, wait, yay, people are jumping on. Woo, woo. Hey, Tia, Melissa, Jessica. Thank you guys for joining. I get so nervous. I get like really nervous doing this stuff, especially when I'm by myself trying to do it. Hold on, let's see if I position this way. Maybe you guys can see better. Hey Lori, hey Jessica. I am just going in right now with uh, some of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer, like all over. Hey, is it Flora? Sorry guys, you guys know the enunciation skills are zero. Literally, now my phone's going off. Like, stop it. But yeah, I haven't, I used to get on um, Facebook all the time, like years ago. Haley and I both would. And do like just a get ready with me and one of the makeup groups we were in. And I thought, you know what? I should start doing that here on YouTube. I'm getting my makeup done for the day too. Yay! We do it together. But yeah, I was like, I want to start doing this and chit-chatting with you guys. Hey, Simply Bonnie. I love chatting with you guys on the premieres, but I thought, you know, this would be fun to just get to do this. Right? I'm running a little behind today. I don't know why, because I still got up at the regular time I normally do, but... I don't know. Okay, I do know what it was. I was watching YouTube. <laughs> I was watching YouTube and I was chit chatting and yeah. So there's that. So um, if you guys would, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share. I'm not. I don't really know how that sharing thing works. I'm going. I'm going for purples today. Okay. Well. Kudos to you, girl, because I'm still a chicken butt, so I'm I'm going with neutrals today. <laughs> Big surprise. We have four shimmies. Oh, does she? Is she, how old is she? Is she at school? Good morning. Is that mean Girl Scout leader Molly GS? Because that's exa every time I see your little thingy, I'm like, I wonder if that means Girl Scout leader. My sister is the same way. <laughs> I always like. Okay, honestly, I had this sitting here. And I was like, yeah, I'm totally going to do it. She's four. Oh, my God, what a sweetheart. It does. Go me. And I was going to use some of these. And that's as far as the thoughts went. I think I should just save colors for the weekend. You know, not on, like, work days. So, yeah. It was so funny. My husband, okay, story time. Whose husband snores? Give me a hands up emoji. <laughs> and if you are ca catching the replay, hashtag replay. Hey, girl from Toronto. Hey, I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it. That's so exciting. It's like, I'm Eastern Standard Time, y'all. So it's like, what, nine o'clock here? So I don't know what time it is everywhere else. So thank you for jumping on. Okay, so my husband snores. Like something fierce. There comes the emojis. I knew I wasn't the only sufferer out there. So 
I um I don't know if I told you guys this or not. I I couldn't take it. Like you guys know I'm doing keto. You guys know it's only six here. Oh, Melissa. Yeah. So what does that mean? Is that mountain time? I don't know. 8 a.m. Oh my. Oh, so you, Tia, you're you're close to me then. You're like, is that central? I don't know my times, guys. Anyways, I, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. My thyroid's all screwed up. My hormones are a little janky, whatever. So I told my husband, I was like, babe, I can't take it. I know, right? Aren't they, Jessica? What did I just do with it? Yeah. Very pretty. He wakes himself up snoring. Jessica, so does mine. He's going to kill me if he's on this live. He's going to be like, stop talking about me. Um, mine does too. And he wakes up and he looks at me like I'm the one who just woke him up from his, his sleep. By the way, I'm still in my PJs, guys. I, I'm about coziness. Indiana 905. Okay, yeah. So that's, I'm on the same time as you, Molly. So anyways, he, he wakes himself up. I couldn't take it anymore. I have, like, the older I get, the more sleep I need. Or I am, like, I'm a mess. Like, I'm just flat out a mess. By the way, new Juno sponge. Ooh, love it. This is still dry, guys, but it's so soft that I don't even always worry to wet it. So anyways, I told him, I was like, look, you're just going to have to go see a doctor. You're going to have to get something done because mama can't take this. I need sleep. Like, yeah, I made it about me. But, you know, in my defense, he just, he didn't think he snored that bad that he needed something. So, yeah. So he finally went, sorry, allergies are acting up again, guys. Go me in Kentucky weather. So he finally went, he saw the doctor. He got one of those little doohickeys, you know, for your face. And... I have mainly. Oh, girl, you strong. Okay, here's the thing, Kelly. I will nudge the man. He will roll over for me. But it doesn't matter what position. What? Well, okay, I take that back. He won't sleep on his stomach, so I don't know. But on his side or on his back, he still snores. He still snores. It drives me back crap crazy. So, anyways, um, he went and he got one of those little machines, and it works. It really, really works so well, except he, okay, it works for me because he doesn't snore, except what happens is after a few hours of him wearing it, he gets annoyed with it and he takes it off, which ends up waking me up because guess what happens? He starts to snore again. Well, we, my, I have two puppies. Good morning. Hey. Hey. My loving husband only snores when he is facing me. Oh, oh, no, mine, mine just snores and drives me crazy. So my, I have my puppies here. They normally are with my parents, but my parents are out of town. So you, I have little uh, Pekingese poodles. They're supposed to be hypoallergenic or something. Anyways, I'm all over the place. Um, so I told him last night, I'm like, I'm tired. I need sleep. I've been putting myself to bed a little too late. And so, like, I need sleep like stat. So I go to bed early, and I told him before he went to bed, I was like, listen, I'm going to need you to make sure you get in the bathroom before you go to bed because he'll do this thing where he may not go to bed for hours after I do. And um, he gets up, and then he tries to be quiet. He tries to be a ninja, but he is like, not a ninja whatsoever and it drives me crazy and they said he was oh sorry guys i'm trying to figure out oh well no surprise i wasn't ah <laughs> tia sorry guys sorry to my earbud users i just got loud <laughs> that is funny i have a hundred pound black lab who is afraid of oh oh yeah so let me tell you guys i'm all over the place sorry it's nerves guys it's nerves because i'm by myself doing a live and i'm like oh my god Okay. Anyways, um, so Puckers and Pookie, those are my puppies. They they sleep with us, and he took his little doodad off, and I think Puckers was, it was only Puckers. Pookie may have been with Hayden. Anyways, he took his little doodad off, that CPAP machine, and of course, what's he do? He starts snoring. Puckers then wakes up. I don't know where she, I think she's under my bench. If they come in, I'll get them to show you guys. She wakes up and she's like, what the heck? And apparently my father snores too, and she gets up in his face. Well, whatever 
my husband freaked her out and so she like woke me up and needed to snuggle close to me to feel safe or whatever and so my sleep has been kind of janky well last night I was like over exhausted and finally just passed out what's he do he gets up he goes to the bathroom that wakes me up then he's trying to be quiet and trying to be a ninja and he dropped his um earbud thingy and it went flying across the floor <laughs> And he said this morning, he's like, I laid there for like three minutes. Like, oh, did I wake the bear? Did I wake the bear? And I'm like, you know, maybe if you wouldn't snore and I would get good sleep 99% of the time, that wouldn't have been a problem if you dropped the earbud. <laughs> so that's another reason why I'm late because we were sitting there chatting about how he is not a ninja. <laughs> And it really is the funniest thing in the world, guys. And if you watched him tell his story, you all would probably be like, oh my God, you poor thing. Where I'm like, whoa, wait, you're the one messing with my sleep. You know what I mean? God, I hope he doesn't watch this live. <laughs> but yeah, his snores are pretty bad. Oh, is it lying? Lion, I, he was on the couch until he went and saw the doctor, and then now he's, he gets to come back in the room, so, <laughs> good morning, Jonah, so, yeah, but yeah, I, I did sleep good last night, apparently he did not, because he was a nervous wreck over all the noises that he makes, <laughs> so, but does any of your husbands have the CPAP machine, or whatever that's called? Because I'm telling you, this actually helps. So like, he doesn't think it does, but I, I think it does. I don't hear him. It makes it very nice. Very, very, very nice. I have to go, oh, I've got so much to do today. I don't feel like it. So, here we go. Okay. I'm not going to do like anything. I'm, I'm already sidetracked because... Normally, I can, like, knock this face out in no time flat, but I'm multitasking. I can't believe that, Tia. No, he doesn't have insurance. Oh, well, apparently, you can buy these online, too. You just have to know what the setting is. I think I need them. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I mean, I had um, a coworker say that you can buy these machines online. You just have to know the setting. You know what I don't like though is they like keep tabs on him on how often he uses it. Oh, I missed something. On top of the hubby snoring, I have two big old. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious, Kelly. It was funny because Puckers, you know, a peek at good morning, Sammy. Uh, uh, Puckers is, they're Pekingese and Poodle, which I'm pretty sure Puckers is Shih Tzu and Poodle. And she's going to be 10 this year, and she snores. And my husband, Puckers was snoring before we went to bed last night. He's like, seriously, she's not getting kicked out? She's snoring. I'm like, hers is a cute snore. <laughs> like, I don't know what y'all, you're talking about. That's a cute little snore. Your snore, however, that's not cute. <laughs> I'm not kidding. If I'm not in his room, he doesn't. Are you serious? Oh my God. That is so funny. I mean, it's not funny to you, but it is a little. Yeah. No, my husband, he, um, he's not a selective snorer anymore. He, he just snores and then claims that he's not snoring. He's, he's at that age, you know, kind of like, I mean, it, and it is kind of funny. He's so going to kill me for this video. <laughs> Like, had nothing else better to talk about? No, honey, I didn't. Because your story this morning was really funny, so. But, um, yeah, he's, he, uh, he's snoring. And then he wakes up and looks at me, and I'm like, dude, stop snoring. He's like, I'm not. I wasn't even sleeping. I'm like, the lies. You're lying. <laughs> you were sleeping. So he's, he's a denial snorer. Oh, should I be telling you guys what I'm using? I'm so sorry. Did you guys want to know? Marc Jacobs. Um, look at this, guys. I love it so much I've hit pan. He used to not believe me until I recorded him. Tia, I'm telling you, I've done the same thing. And then 
I and this is the hourglass guys too. Um, I did the exact same thing to mine, and he still was like not believing me. And then he was on the couch, and I came down the stairs. Even Haley was like, "What in the world?" So I did. I started um, recording him from the top of our stairs. Like we have uh, the two-story house, and you, I would start like on the st second stair. Good morning, Tiffany. And start walking down, and he was in the family room, and he could be heard. I'm like, mm-hmm. Even the kids hear you. My husband lost 75 pounds. See, Molly, he talks. I, he's not a heavy. I mean, you guys see him. Right right there. That's my hot heavy. Love him so much. Just not the sword. Could do without that. But I don't know. I, I always joke around with him. Because I'm like, you know, you weren't a snorer until we got married. And once you, um, we agreed on the whole, once we signed the paperwork, that's what I always say. Once we signed the paperwork, guess who started snoring? Not this girl. The husband. I'm like, yeah, you waited till I signed on the dotted line. Then you started to snore. Okay, here we go. Ready? Browse on camera. Oh, goodness. This ought to be fun. By the way, I'm just using the color pop. My husband used to say I was. So now you snore away. <laughs> That's funny. Good morning, Falcus. Did I say that right? I'm so sorry. Yeah. As soon as I signed on the dotted line and became his wife, boom, guess who started snoring? I was like, what is this? Yeah, good times. Good times. So. Anyhow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting quiet, guys. I'm look, let's be honest. These are never gonna be even, but I do the best I can. My face, I think my face just isn't symmetrical. Oh yay, good. Cause I, I get so nervous trying to enunciate things. I guess I'm lucky he works second, so <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, Molly. Hey Ola, is that right? My husband was a denial. Dude, Catherine, my husband started off as a denial snore. Then he started off as a selective snore. Now he's just a full-fledged snore. But I don't snore unless my allergy, like unless I'm really stuffy. He said, I snore also. I don't wrap myself around you like a vine and snore in your face. <laughs> that is so funny, Tia. I snore pretty. That is so funny. Right? See, that's like when my little puppy snores. I'm like, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> he snores. I'm like, death. <laughs> I'm evil. Yeah, I just, I'm telling you guys, the older I get, the more sleep I require. Like, you see those memes out there where people are like, um, I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry to the nap, you know, that I didn't take when I was young and, yeah, crave now. That's me. You know, I would run on like zero sleep and was just fine. Now I get little sleep and I can't function. I went walking into work on Monday and I literally looked like a zombie. I was, people are talking to me. I'm like looking at them like, why are you asking me a question? I don't, I don't understand. I only snore when I'm not feeling well. See, that's what my husband says, Molly. He's like, you were snoring. I'm like, I am sick. So try again, sir. You know, because it's not like the regular. I mean, I don't care if he's like dozes off watching a TV show. The man starts to snore and I'm like, oh my gosh, you got to be joking me. To the point that his son was sitting next to him one time on the couch and he started his snoring. And Hunter looks at him and he's like, what is wrong with you? And I looked at Hunter and I'm like, yeah, imagine sleeping next to that. Right next to your head. He's like, ooh, no, Rhonda. I'm like, right? Okay, that, that's the brows. They're going to be completely off and uneven. Oh, well. You can always tell when I haven't had enough sleep or I'm stressed because I'll start missing parts of my eyebrow. He wonders why I'm a crazy person. I say, I know, right? It's literally, Melissa, it's literally to the point that my children know when I haven't slept good and then they start yelling at him. They're like, Shady Boo, you messed with mommy's sleep again. You know, that kind of thing. I'm like, yeah. Well, he did. He is laughing at this conversation. <laughs> yeah. 
I know that Tia exactly. If if my husband, like God, I pray he's not in his office watching this. Which I'm I'm not getting um, any text yet, so I think we good. But because <laughs> he'll sometimes say he'll watch uh, some of my videos in the office, or I started to watch like my boxy charm video that went up on Monday. He was like, I started watching that, trying to figure out what was so, what was so gross. I, dude, Sammy, they are. Like, I can knock out all my makeup in no time flat, and I, then I get hung up on my brows. Like, I should just stop doing it. He just walked into the office and said, who are you talking to? <laughs> you probably mentioned it before, but what's your non-YouTube job? Catherine, I am in customer service type of job, and I have to travel around some, type, some days. Seeing people and all that, and it's 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 like the best job if you have anxiety. Let me tell you, yeah. As long as I know the people, I'm fine. But if I don't know the people I'm having to go see, I'm a nervous flipping wreck. That's why I I tell you guys all the time, keto has like helped with my anxiety so much. So aren't your brows the worst? Yeah, they really are. I do. Good morning, Kitty. What brow product? Oh, I'm sorry. Gosh, I'm so horrible. Is it Alina? Alina? It is ColourPop. $5. Look, I know that Ulta's having their 21 Days of Beauty, guys. And um, that Anastasia one is, what, 10 bucks, 11 bucks. But you guys, this is like $5. And Haley told me yesterday ColourPop was having a sale. And I just swear by it. Uh, ColourPop's brow products. Like, I... I'm like on a pencil kick right now, and I really, really like it. What am I doing? Oh, yay. I'm telling you guys. You guys know I always get so nervous to enunciate stuff. Okay, I'm just going in with this alter ego. It is amazing, Kelly. I really like ColourPop pencils. I think that they're... I think they perform better than the Anastasia. And I'm a brow rubber, guys. Like, if I'm nervous, if I'm tired, like this part... Like I said, you'll see. Good morning, Ashley. You will see um, Missing Brows. I forget what that's called. It starts with a T. And um, it, it pretty much stays through it. I will even use some of this ColourPop Gel Brow. I really like that, too. By the way, this palette, guys, they said they sold out. Uh, not sold out, but they're out of stock of the brushes for the Alter Ego. So... If you still order it, you still get free shipping, but you don't get the brushes, they said. So, hopefully they bring the brushes back. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go with this simple look because I'm running later than normal today. The gimme brow. Is that the, is that the one in the little tube, uh, Jessica, that has little fibers in it? Because I saw that's going on sale, and that one I was a little curious about. really see maybe I'll pick that up when it goes on sale today I it was the Mac paint pots oh good morning oh hey Terry oh I, I did not say sorry I said Terry but um what was I saying I totally forgot I lost my train of thought what's new I don't remember I think I'm go in maybe with this color I had some of this in here the essence brow I heard that essence brow one is really good what color do I have I have light brown that's what I use on mine I have a clear one too but I like the light brown one better so concentration is real guys look I said I'm not going with color and then what do I do hmm. yay Tia tell me tell me in today's video if you get your boxy charm by then if your morphe palette was like that I still haven't even touched mine mine's sitting over in the box like so many people I'm getting so much like nasty comments <laughs> over it they're like girl it's the way it was pressed get over it and I'm like, okay, but like, if you know how many eyeshadow palettes I have, 
I've literally never experienced that ever before. I've never had an eyeshadow palette come where it looks swatched and has little black specks in it. Shade three is perfect. I don't like my brows crazy dark, even though I have dark. See, that's me, Jessica. I think because, like I said, I rub them. I still haven't even gotten my Sephora Play, and I literally just got my Ipsy bag yesterday. Haley and I just filmed that yesterday. See, I I got the Lux. So to, I haven't seen anyone that has the regular boxy charm, Jessica. Did you guys get the Morphe palette in that? Because I could have lived without the Morphe palette. Right, Ashley? Like so many people were like, oh, it was just the pressing of it. And I'm like, I mean, I've had Morphe palettes before and I've never, I mean, it's good to know that that's possibly what it is, but I, I promise you all, like, I wouldn't say it looked swatch if it didn't. Hey, Terry Lee. So that was like, mm, it was a little scary. It's not scary. You can totally tell if it's swatch. Right, Ashley? See, that's my whole thing. I got the wrong cover FX palette too. Whoops. See, Molly, yeah, like, I thought it looked weird, too. I, like I said, I've never had anything like that. And I think what freaked me out the most is the fact that, like, not only that it looked like it had been touched, but it had the little black specks in it. And it threw me off because all I could think about was when everybody was saying those Emily Noel Makeup Revolution palettes were molding, which, of course, mine wasn't. Mine was amazing. That's what I was worried about. I'm like, was this an old palette? But I heard it was a new palette because obviously it had the new casing on it, I thought. So, I got the dark. The superhero mascara and a dollar store lip gloss. You're kidding. That's crazy. I don't know. I haven't, Bonnie, I haven't checked my Cover FX palette. Like, just by looks of it, it looked dark. But I think if I went in with a light hand, I may be okay. Just take it back. I think they'll take it without a receipt. Belkis, the palette I'm talking about was in my um, boxy charm. And my shadows looked okay. I got a decent look out of them. Sorry, I'm slurping. Oh, Kelly, it's not your fault, honey, but uh, some some people said they got, like, weird stuff all over theirs. People's cover X palettes were swatch as well. Shut up! I didn't know that, Ola. Ooh, look at me. I'm not focusing. I need to focus. Girl, focus. Ew, that's, see, yeah, I didn't know that at all about the cover FX palettes. That's a little freaky. Like, who, ew. Mm. This is a really unflattering angle. I like when it's like straight on. <laughs> I like. See, maybe Alina, maybe I'll look for that one. Right, Jeanette? I'm like, it's from Bardstown. Shut up. That's not terribly far, Marianne. Bardstown, Kentucky? This palette, Kitty? I have to tell you, I mean, you guys will see it in my favorites, but this, this is another good one too, which the video for this today is going up today. Oh, no way, Marianne. I was just down that way this weekend down in Louisville, um, for my son's archery tournament. Okay, Kelly Ann, it was only that Bellini shade, like the right in the middle. It was only that shade, and that shade had funky specks in it too. Everything else looked perfect. Really, Jeanette? I need to watch more of the BoxyCharm videos out there then. I heard the boxy items. Right, Ola? I wondered the same thing. And here's something else that I wondered. Oh, it, my box. I can't get it because I'm... <laughs> I'm so fancy. I have my iPad sitting on the Ipsy box. Um, but 
um, oh, but um, I noticed in my Ipsy, I got a palette and it didn't come with like the little plastic thingy. So I thought that was weird. That is so funny. What a small world, Marianne. You know, there's another YouTuber on here I watch. Um, is it Alexandra, Alexandria Ryan? She's from like Richmond, Kentucky. I'm like, what? No way. I think that's cool. Because you said pays for the manufacturing of new products and it cuts. Oh, that makes sense. I did not know that. Bonnie, thank you. I'm trying to blend out. Sometimes it's not packaged like that, so you don't. Oh, you know what, Sammy? That makes a lot of sense. I never even thought about that. I didn't think about that at all. But yeah, that would make a lot of sense. But I thought, I honestly, I thought that a lot of companies, like, I mean, maybe this is just me overthinking. But I thought if it has, like, a specific barcode, it goes to a, ooh, girl, you went too high. A certain, like, a specific place. So, like... A palette I got at Ulta, I couldn't return to Sephora because, like, the barcode only goes for Ulta. But maybe that's just me. You know what, Terry Lee? I did not. I probably should. I don't watch her. I'll have to look her up, Marianne. Kind of next door in Ohio. No way, Kelly. I love this. All my little East Coasters and Southerners. Yay. I keep losing my thing. Depends on the brand. You know, the nasty brand. That makes sense. I maybe I should go ahead and email them because, like I said, the palette is just sitting over here in the box. Did anyone else's biog smell funky? Because that was another thing I thought was kind of weird. It had like a funky smell to it. Did it the Laura? I didn't get a Laura Geller blush. Oh, stay <laughs> Mary. Does he watch too? Because my husband, it's so funny. Like this morning I was watching Amanda, Keto Ginger, and um, I was like washing up and everything and he was showering and he popped his head out of the shower, which I know TMI. He's probably gonna be like, Rhonda, seriously, why do you have to call, like, why do you have to say this stuff? But anyways, he popped his head out of the shower and he's like, Amanda? I'm like, yep. And he's like, hmm, okay. He's like learning. I watch um, Teresa is Dead. Do you guys watch her? She's really funny. And uh, he knows her too. So he got the same scent as me. Right, Catherine? It did. Mine did too. My bag smelled fishy too. And I was like, ew, what is that? So, yeah, I've tried to air it out, It's like, but it's still in the box. I just kind of shoved the box to the side. I just wasn't about that life. I'm like, mm, no, thank you. Mm, I should have done this in the inner corner more. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Right, Bonnie? It does. It just stinks. Hey, from Kansas. Hey, Rose. I, over a weekend, it still sent great. Because, like, I literally have it sitting over here in the box, and I was just like, ew. Like, I don't want to use that. I don't want my products or, like, if I put a beauty blender in there or something, I don't want it to stink. So I've just kind of... Really? That's weird. See, I wonder if something happened like when those bags were getting shipped to Boxy or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Oh, I meant to put. It does, Sammy. It really does. It's so ill. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. I know. Like I said, my husband, God forbid he watches this, he's going to be like, oh, really? So it was like a gripe fest about me today. I'm like, honey, I love you so much. Like, you know, it was just girl chat. We're just girl chatting here. We're all friends. It's fine. It's all good. 
But it's so funny because, like, you know, the friends I made from Facebook, from the makeup groups I've been in in the past, uh, they will now tag me <laughs> on things like the the one meme where the 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 wife walks in and then like slaps her husband across the face and like, oh, honey, are you okay? And he wakes up from his sleep. I can't tell you how many times I've been tagged in that one. Because I'm like, yeah, that, that's me. It aired out after a couple days and holds. It does look like it holds a lot. It just, I'm, the smell freaks me out. Oh my gosh. Jessica, I, the, the one that Alta had, I got the Huda Nunu. -nu. Oh, oh. Whoa, you got that in your Ipsy, Jessica? Wasn't your Morphe palette already? Yes, ma'am, Marianne. It was swatch. Mine too. So, Terry Lee, will they replace it, or is it already, like, because I, I just kind of assumed it was sold out, and I was just out of luck. <laughs> oh, you ordered it. Okay. Because I know Ulta had, for the 21 Days of Beauty, they had a Smashbox contour palette, and I heard it was pretty good. Girl, what are you doing? You're getting sparkles everywhere. Uber dark Becca lip shade. I know, right? I'm. You guys know how I get with like colors. I'm such a neutral girl, and I think even though like I've kind of had some of the, I've had the lip filler done. I still don't feel like they're like big enough to like. You know what I mean? I feel like they're just full enough to make neutrals make them look fuller. But if I were to put like um a dark shade on there, I feel like it's just gonna make them look small all over again. Good morning, Laura! Have they? I see, I don't know. I've gone on that site before, Elena, but I always worry that I might get something like not real or something. Oh, just kind of worries. Heck, I, I have no nails and I still can't text. I'm just, that's just me. Look at this, guys. It's 37 minutes. I've made this video too long. I'm sorry. I swear it doesn't take me this long to get ready. Normally, I'm like done in 15 minutes, but I'm chatting, and God forbid this girl know how to multitask. So, you know, there's that. Marianne, I have no idea what's going on with them. I I assumed somebody else said um, that they were going out of business, but I don't know. I have no idea. I have. You know what, Bonnie? I'm in one of those. But here's here's what freaks me out, Bonnie, because this is one thing that I was told. On those BoxyCharm um, Facebook groups, some people will pay with PayPal, and then they say they didn't get it, and they get their money back. So I'm like, they filed claims with Boxy or with PayPal, and I'm like, yeah. So I just stay clear of that. Oh, thank you, Ashley. And make your you know what that Haley tells me to do that Tia I need to practice doing that it's just I think that I'm a face toucher so much and drinker that I I wear it off funny hola look I'm a complete makeup hoarder I own it I know I am I everything has feelings does anybody else do that okay like this is how weird and quirky I am guys and OCD Okay, so I bought one of those gain um, beads. I don't know what it is, but you put it in your laundry. They're like little beads, okay? And it was the same scent, and it comes with a cap, and I had taken the cap off, put some into the laundry, and then I finished it, okay? But 
before I threw it away, there was just a couple beads in there that I'd put into the original cap, and then I opened a new one and put beads into that original cap, and I went to chuck the bottle away. This is so weird. I can't believe I'm saying this on internet. I had to put the original cap on the old one when I threw the case away because I was like, they belong together. They need each other. Like, girl, it's a plastic bottle and it don't have feelings. You need to stop. But that's how crazy I am. It's just so bad. I'm literally sitting here getting ready to have my coffee. <laughs> I know, right? That's me. Let Haley do your makeup on your chair. I know. We should, Sammy. That would be fun. I boil those laundry crystals. They feel... Oh, that's a good idea. Are you, Melissa? See, I, I've i never openly admitted that, and I just admitted it to, like, all of YouTube. So there's that. Hey, Mary. Yeah, so everything in my head has feelings. Like, look, guys, like, look, this, this video just totally went long, but I have, I have this, okay? This palette is forever old. I can't use it. It's done expired, but this was, like, one of the first palettes that, okay, if you guys are new to, to my channel, you won't know this, but I have been divorced since, like, 07, and I was poor like very very poor very much a struggling single mom so like years later when I finally had enough to buy my first palette this was the first palette that I bought and I can't get rid of it it's literally probably from like 2009 2011 I don't know but I can't part with it it's like sentiment everything is sentimental like oh god look my first blush high-end blush palette it's busted the house, but guess who still keeps it? Because she's sentimental. Yep, me. Everything has ceilings, right? Yeah. I have 10 bottles of shampoo with an inch in my bed. <laughs> oh my God, Marianne, right? Drives my husband crazy. Oh, Tia, thank you. I've been wanting to do a little change. I can't like I watch declutter videos all the time and I'm like you go girl you do it and then I'm like maybe I should nope you are thank you thank god because I literally was like nobody in the world does this crap like why do I do this I mean I don't use it so it's just it literally has a, you know meaning behind it like look how far you've come don't don't get rid of it you know what I mean because like that Lorac palette meant so much to me. I babied it. Like, I even have the original Urban Decay because that was the second palette that I was able to afford. Like, I love the heck right out of this bad boy. I don't use it, but I will never get rid of it because, like, it just reminds me of, like, how much I treasured it and how much it meant to me that I had saved and saved and saved for, like, this, what, $49 palette? Yeah. Yeah. I have 15 year old Urban Decay palette and I'm just right Marianne I am the same way I will gift makeup if it's not been in my collection or I'll give it to my daughters but yeah I just because I feel like nobody's gonna love it as much as me <laughs> is that not ridiculous like Haley is the same as me like she she, she has emotional attachments to hers but, oh, uh, Laura, I did not plan to be long. Like, I need to get out the door, but yet I just keep finding things to talk about. So. Well, it's funny, Jeanette. My husband is like, is that necessary? Do you really need, like, I promise one of these days, guys, I will do a makeup collection, but, and I need to just get over being scared of the comments. But I feel like people are going to be like, oh, you're bragging, or, um, or that's just absolutely ridiculous that you have so much. And I'm like, yeah, I know. For a minute, it's cute. Oh, that would be so cute, Tia. Right, Marianne, that would be me. Like, I would try and do a declutter, and then I would have instant remorse and be like, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I love you so much, you know? And then I'd have to put it back into my collection. That's my problem. I should make up to my Oh, so yeah, see, I just don't, I don't know. Oh, Kelly, for the longest time, I'm trying to go back because I missed them. I love, 
I um I used to like get bad anxiety watching declutter videos. Cause I'm like, how do you not love that? Where's my pencil sharpener? I'm the worst at sharpening my pencils and I just stab myself in the eyeball. <laughs> Looks like it's time to move on to another, like I have a section of pencils that need sharpened. I don't know what I do with my sharpener. Awesome sauce. All right, let's grab a new liner. Guess we're gonna be trying this Lottie London one. <laughs> right, Ashley? Total hoarder status. I have a bunch. Well, okay, here's the deal, guys. Like, for a while, for the longest time, I just couldn't afford, like, nice high-end makeup. And then, um, then when I could, like I said, it just became, like, so sentimental and meant so much that I just couldn't part with it. So I literally have, like, my first eyeshadow palette, my second eyeshadow palette, my first NARS blush. And I bought that when, I don't even know if, like, the orgasm blush was, like, that popular anymore, but... That's how I roll. I'll sit here for hours. Oh, <laughs> Tia. Yeah, I need to do it. Like I said, I just get like worried about like people thinking I'm trying to brag. And I'm like, no, I'm not bragging. I'm openly admitting I have a problem. But I've gotten a lot better about not buying as much. Especially since uh, C Color Cosmetics. And now th I, they need to come out with more. Alter Ego needs more. Stat. We were in Sephora and I was getting something and the hubby said, don't you have something similar? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Melissa, that is so funny. See, that's my husband. Same thing. He, he, I'll buy, you know, like before I was getting all these Natasha Denona's up here and he's like, do you really need that? Like, and then I picked up other ones. Like I have a stupid amount and he was like, you have that shade. I'm like, it's not the same formula. He's like, but is it really going to be that noticeable? I'm like, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, I totally get it. But now, I don't feel as bad finding, like, all of these C-Color Cosmetics ones, you know? Now I'm like, eh. hey, Manic Makeup Mama. Oh, my gosh. See, I'm so bad. I should have done been done by now, but I just keep on talking. Well, Gemini life, whatever. So, uh, AM to PM Lottie London pencil. Liking that. Like it a lot. I think I should probably put some... I don't know, Ashley. I'm the same way. I am the same way. I am all about eyeshadow palettes and I could have 15 of the similar color scheme but yet I'm still like nope mm -mm, this is different completely different simply by yeah formula I do think formula does matter for sure you will live to be 100 and never use all oh my god my husband says the same thing Marianne can you guys see <laughs> oh and the embarrassing thing about this at wait who said it uh, manic that's not even all the foundations I have a drawer up here of even more and the crazy part is I'm not even wearing foundation anymore <laughs> I'm like but I will I will I will get back into it. I can't part with you because I love you and I'll need you at some point the first day beauty acid primer is horrible it's pink. really that's good to know Ola I did not know that Oh, Ashley, don't even get me started. I have this stupid, ridiculous lipstick co collection. Don't even... I stick with the Macy and Mia and then, like, a gloss. It's bad. Oh, wait, who just asked that? Where did I get the foundation holder? Simply by... I didn't know you guys could see that. Yeah. Uh, Amazon. I And I actually have five more that my husband needs to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> I have like 18 palettes and still, oh, totally, Tia, totally. See, Belkis, that was me. Like, here's the deal. Like, for a while there, I tried selling that Unique, and they really pushed to only use their products. 
So for a while there, that's all I used was unique stuff. And then it drove Haley nuts. She's like, mom, you need to try other makeup. Like you're really missing out on so much makeup. And so then I stopped selling it cause like I didn't sell it really well at all. And then I went into, I must buy everything. So now I'm sitting on like a lot of makeup, but I love it. It all, I love it. So, you know, there's that. I love gloss. I collect lipstick too. I never, dude, I have just, right? Just an insanely amount. And I feel like I've, I started that whole FOMO series where I'm like, you don't need it. Like you probably already have it, that kind of thing. And so what did I do? I, I eased up on buying the makeup and now I'm on to shoes. I don't think I'm as bad though. I was really bad. I was getting really embarrassed with the amount of makeup I was buying for a while there. Like last year, I'm just like, girl, you need to know, uh, you need to stop. See you later, Ashley. Thank you for joining. You can't not marry me in. I mean, people have been saying like, if you use spring 50 or spring 60 or something at the Shop Hush website, you, um, I mean, and they've already marked down those palettes. So, I mean, it's silly not to. I will tell you guys, though, you guys have been asking me to do Dupe in the Dupe, which I'm going to do. Especially, the next one I'm going to do is the Frost and the Sahara palette. I will tell you guys, even though for the longest time I loved the formula for, like, what Hush had, you will notice a big, I at least for me, I notice a big difference. Mary, spring 50 and, and everything 60. There you guys go. But it comes down to how long you want it to wear. Like I need mine to last at least eight hours. So I get that with the C colors, but I don't always get that with this. Like yesterday, the video Haley and I filmed, I will tell you that, what time did we film that? It was probably like five o'clock. And this was like pretty much not showing up as well. All these great sales, like Shop Hush. Kelly, but see, here's where I justify it. It's like so much better than wanting that brand new Natasha Denona $129 palette, right? Because normally, I'll see you later, manic makeup mama. Wait, I think I missed some. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, you asked about Haley. I don't, why do I think she, she I think she is going to be putting up a haul. If not, she's back from Florida now. So she, her video should be coming up because she's got some serious story times. I'm not going to tell you guys about them because that, oh, but I tell you what, that girl's got some stories. Yes, I found bad habits using the same color shades and other bad habit, only with different shading. Yeah, that's true. That's very true, Mary. I love C-Color Cosmetics, guys. I, I think their formula is easier to work with for me personally. It's not as powdery and soft. I'm using brown mascara. Hey, Gons Girl, is it Denny? Yeah. Haley should do more makeup. I know. You guys wait. Wait till Monday's video. It is Ipsy versus Ipsy, and her makeup was amazing. I mean, it was so pretty. It was almost like I kind of monochromatic, but not. It was so cool. So hopefully she starts putting those together because the Juicy and Bronze palettes are awesome. Right? I agree. Wait, the bronze. Actually, I've got the bronze sitting in. Have I played with that one? I've got the juicy right here. I got to do more with the bronze. Oh, the love of makeup. I love that. Okay, seriously, Bright Fox's Den. Okay, I've got the whimsical sitting right here. I use this one more than I do the actual Norvina one. Guns, I am using for the eyes, the Temptress. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I'm just using the Temptress palette. I made this like an hour long video. I'm so sorry, guys. This was not my intention. 
I was like, oh, I'll just jump on here for a quick 15, 20 minutes. Girl can talk. I talk too much. Sorry. I just tangent. That's my biggest problem. I just tangent, tangent. I am just using the Monsor Big Lancome uh, mascaras. I got them for like 21 Days of Beauty. But I haven't used them up I, the last time they had it. So... I honestly don't feel like it's worth the ten or the twenty some bucks. I bought it for ten, and I have a stupid amount open. But L'Oreal and Essence mascaras is where it's at, guys. I'm forty nine more days. Right, Mary? I took yeah. She is so talented with makeup, like so talented. Oops, I'm going to have to get back to the beginning of this. <laughs> oh, for the love of makeup, or the love of makeup, I had a bit of a rant I was going on about with my husband snoring and trying to be a ninja. When he tries to be a ninja and quiet, when I'm sleeping, he fails miserably. <laughs> and he's like, I'm scared to wake the bear. Are you, Jessica? See... I love the milk kush. I love the hourglass, but that's pretty much like other than that. I just buy the um, drugstore stuff. The clay palette from C Color will be my next purchase. I yes, I, look, I have everything sitting right here, guys. So you see what I can, I carry on and use. But yeah, I like this one. I thought it had a scent to it. It does not. So this is just, this is like my go-to lip gloss right now. It's kind of a peg. It's Ava from the Macy and Mina. I use her. I just got that on my tongue. Mary, no, not this time around. Uh, not like I did the first time. I feel like I had a lot of hair loss with keto. But this time I have not and I think it's because I've been better about tracking my macros and it's a carb band hold on let me let me just pull it up to make sure where'd it go here it is yeah carb manager this is what the app looks like I track my macros with that and of course you know with keto it's got to be high fat moderate protein and then low carb as long as I've kept my protein up and eaten a decent amount of protein I haven't experienced it. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie guys, yesterday I struggled with keto, but I think it was because I was extremely overtired and when I'm overtired, I don't do good. Like every like food demon comes out and I'm like, I need carbs. I, I turn crazy. I'll just be honest with you guys. My, well, I'll do it. I guess the mayonnaise and then I make homemade salad dressing like um what is it Thousand Island that because that has the mayonnaise in it deviled eggs chili the meats like higher meats I guess um I do a lot of intermittent fasting too like right now I use that hold on let me let me get it for you guys Zero. I use the Zero app. Oh, look at me. And it tells you how long you've been fasting. So that's what I use. And because I, oh, avocados is a really, really good one. I tend to forget about my avocados. So I buy a bag at Costco that it's already like cut up for me and everything. And I just use uh, those and it works out really well. So, oh my gosh, my hair is a crazy mess. I don't know what I'm thinking. So, yeah, I use a lot of avocados, too, in my salad. And my biggest thing that I can tell you guys that helps is um, even if it's just, like, a salad, put a salad with everything or a vegetable with every meal. Oh, you're not the only one. But I'm lazy and I don't, I don't. I don't uh, wash mine as often as I should. Haley gets on me all the time. I forgot. I do. I always forget about my avocados. So I started buying the ones at Costco.
Costco that are frozen and I just might now my new problem is I have to remember to pull them out that's fun so yeah cream cheese is another good fat uh, like last night I made cracked chicken for dinner and um, so that works really well I'm trying to think like typically though I try an intermittent fast because if I don't and I'm tired then I become like a raging mess which was yesterday and I make homemade bread for my kids or for my family and um, with the cracked chicken I made rolls for them and I had a roll but on my behalf I made it with erythritol so I was like but it messed with me it met like I, I keep my little keto mojo here so I had checked my my blood sugar before I uh, slipped up and my blood sugar was fine it, it had been like 91 or something I think I want to say it was like 91 or 92 because it had been a couple like an hour or two since I had had my meal and then uh, my ketones were good. They were like 1.4. I had that Dagon roll. And even though I knew what I'd put in it, I my ketones dropped to 0.4. And I'm like, nope, I'm accountable. I don't need to cheat. So I had a slip up. And I'm not going to do that again. So, hold on, I missed some comments. Am I being... Oh my gosh, Tia, they are so good. I'm gonna, I need to go to Costco and get more mushrooms. I got sausage sitting in there. I think I'll make some of that. They don't taste as good. You're so right, Denny, you're, you're right. But at the same time, I'm like, if I mix it in with my eggs and stuff, I feel like they put like a lime taste to it. That's what I don't like about it. Okay guys, I should hop off here. Oh wait, I need to set my face. What am I thinking? Feel like you're done here. Okay. All right, guys. I'm really, really sorry. I have to. Oh, yeah. I know. I need to get off here too. Have you tried? I have not. A lot. I haven't been using foundation here lately. Okay, guys. I'm gonna hop off here. I need to get to work because I'm. <laughs> I'm late. Whatever. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up and share this video if you guys would or whatever. If not, that's okay. But please give me a thumbs up before you leave. And I hope everyone has a good day, a wonderful day, a blessed day. And by the way, at noon today, I lost my phone again. At noon, I the video on the frost palette is coming up. Do you guys like these? If you like these videos too, give me a thumbs up and let me know. And I'll start maybe doing more of these get ready with me in the morning before I go to work. Yeah? No? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, guys. Thank you guys again. And I love you all. Thank you guys for supporting me. And I will catch you guys at noon today on the premiere. Okay? All right. Kisses from Kentucky. Bye. Oh, shit. I always forget how to end these videos.